What's good everybody, it's your host Jackson in Dongo and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to downsize the waist of your jeans and make them snatch that waist. If you enjoy tutorials like this, I would really appreciate if you checked out some of my content and I would love and appreciate if you guys engaged with my content. My channel is small and I'm trying to build a sewing community and I want you guys to be part of the journey. Without further ado, let's talk about the materials you will need to complete this project. You are going to need a seam ripper, you are going to need any marking tool that you could possibly use, you are going to need a ruler and a scissors. Yeah, you're going to need a scissors. Without further ado, let me go and put on the pants and let's start the process of downsizing. Alright, so now we're just going to tuck in our pockets to make sure everything is nice and neat. We're going to wear our jeans to the waist level we want them to be after the alteration but now we're gonna pinch our jeans on one or both sides if you have to in my case i don't have to because i don't have much fabric to cut off once you have pinched be sure to take your marking tool and just create some lines they do not have to be perfect but this just gives you an estimate when we go and take our measuring ruler and what it gives us an opportunity to measure and see how much we're going to be cutting off in order for the alteration to come off as we want it to be once you are done take off your pants and let's go and start the alteration process and marking stuff down all right so measure the sides or the size that you just marked mine is 2.5 divide that by 2 would be 1.25 keep that 1.25 number it's very important so if yours came out to 4 then your middle number would be two. Then you're gonna measure the pockets of your shorts. Whatever number you find, mine was 6.8 to 7. Divide that by two would be 3.5. Put a marker on the middle of the pocket. As the middle number that we just measured at the beginning, which is my 1.25, that's how much we are gonna cut off from each side of the pocket. Once all these markings have been done, you're going to take your seam ripper and then you're going to seam rip everything that is in between those lines that you've just created. So at the left pocket coming in and the right pocket coming in, just seam rip that waist line open. Once everything has been done, you're going to see what it would look like when you are finally done. So I'm just going to speed up the video and you guys can just see what you need to do so don't do anything until you see what I've done and what the end product looks like before you go to the next step once the seam rip has been done it should look something like so then you're just gonna take your ruler and extend the measurement of your pockets of the jean all the way up to the yoke okay because the yoke is what we're actually gonna be altering that's the backbone of the jean it's called a yoke I don't know why but hey I don't create the rules you're gonna take your ruler on that center point remember that 1.2 line we created we're gonna divide that by 2 again so which would mean for me my measurement would be 0.625 I just rounded off to 0.7 for easier terms so the line being 0 measure 0.7 on the left and measure 0.7 on the right that makes 1.25 then that would mean you create a triangle Remember that line on the middle of the jean becomes the center point. So you're going to create a triangle and it should look something like so. And now you're going to repeat the same step on the other side. And once that's done, be sure to come back and we're going to go to the next step. There's a very important step that you're going to do right now. You are going to make small pockets at the bottom of the yoke. The reason we do this is this is how we get that seamless look like no alterations were done on the jeans. Very important step, create small pockets on both sides. And once those pockets have been created, you are gonna take the bottom of those markings and pinch them together. And it should look something like so. And this will give you a very good example of what the final product will look like and just how unaffected the pockets are gonna be and the rest of the gene will be. This is now when we squeeze in the rest of the gene, only the yoke gets affected. Once this has been done, you can also mark 
the inside points if you have to i did do that later on in the video but just watch how unaffected that is you see it gives you room to pinch the jeans and that looks fantastic do that on the other side as well all right so this is how things should be looking at this point both sides have been pinched in with my clippers you could use your pins as well on the inside it should look something like so now we're going to go to the sewing machine to mark sew and cut okay don't be alarmed the reason why i haven't removed my clippers is because i forget sometimes that there's people who may be new to sewing and may need more steps so this is just me showing i pretty much replicated what i did on the outside to the inside and then when you fold it should look something along like this so that when you're sewing you're sewing along the pyramid okay like the triangle that's how we're sewing we're sewing like that and then when we cut we're gonna cut like that it's very important and i just wanted to show you this extra step now let's get into the sewing aspect of things so now you're gonna sew that little triangle and when you're done sewing that little triangle it should look something like so so now i'm gonna flip the jeans so you guys can see how it actually looks from the outside if you like it now we can cut now when you're cutting try not to cut close to the thread as you can see i cut pretty close to the thread and i was like oh gosh so try not to do that but even if you don't just make sure to put it back on the sewing machine and do one more pass repeat the process on the other side but sew once more because sewing once more helps give it that seamless look it hides the thread and it hides every time your jean expands you're not going to see any threading the jean will be super super locked in and once you do one more pass of sewing on that little triangle on both sides and fold your jeans and this is how everything should look like when everything is said and done so i'm just gonna flip my jeans in and out and you guys can have an idea how everything looks and then now we're gonna go back and take our jeans to the cutting board so that we can now reduce the waistline now that the jean is all laid out we're now gonna measure 2.5 inches that we just sucked in from our jean yoke everything has to accurately fit so you're gonna measure 1.25 the center being zero on the left and right side when everything looks good you are gonna cut 1.25 inches on the left and then you're gonna cut 1.25 on the right then you're gonna take your seam ripper and we're gonna need that belting hook and I'm gonna put it on top just so you guys can see that we're gonna put it back and this is a rough sketch of how things are gonna look clip the waistline with some clippers or some pins and let's go to the sewing machine you're gonna sew once you're done sewing it should look something like so so one more time if you have to if you're happy with the results then we're gonna go into threading change the thread so it matches the color possibly doesn't have to be accurate just to make things seem seamless then we're gonna pin everything together clip everything and the fun part so 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 we're gonna sew everything together the pockets that we created we're gonna put the waistline back the little pockets that we created at the yoke we're gonna sew everything back together this is the fun part be sure to take your time so you do not break any of your needles Jean is very harsh with that and if you're happy with the results things should look something like that that's the final product and let's put on the jeans this is what it looks like look at how seamless that looks once I fully rub out those markings it's just gonna seem like I did not even make any alterations guys come on this is fire thank you guys for watching and if you found this video helpful I would really appreciate your engagement like comment and subscribe I want to build a community with you and I want to be the service you come to when you want to watch your DIY or if you have any questions I love to see big channels that have a community of people who come and engage i want that as well and i want you guys on my team thank you so much again for watching this tutorial and for supporting my channel i shall see you guys in other tutorials that i create peace